Let's take a look at the career of Evgeny Dadnok, who this year will be playing for the Ottawa Senators. Not wearing this jersey, of course, they've changed it, but I do have a hat coming with the 2D logo on it, just so people know. Um, it's, it's on its way with mail being delayed the way that it is. No idea when it's going to get here. But Dadnov was drafted, of course, by Florida, and he spent his entire NHL career there, kind of. So, 71st pick in, 20, in, in 2007. Uh, he's now 31 years of age, but has only played 280 games in his career. How did we get there? Well, 2009-2010, he spends most of his year in the American Hockey League. Only has four games in the NHL, no points. 2010-2011, he splits his season between the AHL and the NHL, 36 games. Eight goals, nine assists, 17 points. So the offense is there. He's a decent enough player, but, you know, there's there's still a lot of hope for him. Maybe more. Now, 2011-2012, 15 games, two goals, one assist, three points. He ends up in the American League. So what do they do? They traded him to Carolina on January 18th of 2012. Yeah. Uh, he ends up playing for the AHL affiliate of the Carolina Hurricanes. Doesn't play a single game for Carolina. So... He has only played for Florida, but he was the property of the Carolina Hurricanes till the end of that year. And then he decided to sign in the KHL. So he signs in the KHL, uh, 52 games his first year there, 14 goals, 23 assists, 37 points. This is when people say, hey, Shannon doesn't normally cover the stats from the other leagues. There's a reason. Uh, his second year in the KHL, 54 games, 15 goals, 14 assists, 29 points. He then ends up in St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg kind of has a super team. Uh, 53 games played in 2014-2015. 19 goals, 27 assists, 46 points. So his points totals are coming up. His goals totals are coming up. 2015-2016, uh, 59 games played. 23 goals, 23 assists, 46 points. His last year in the KHL is 2016-2017. And it's a great year. 53 games, 30 goals, 36 assists, 66 points. So his points totals are fantastic. The goals are good. Career high in assists. And he's playing with Gusev and Shipachev. So Vadim Shipachev is signed by the Vegas Golden Knights, who also have the rights to Nikita Gusev. Well, all they need is Dadnov, right? So Dadnov is, is an unrestricted free agent coming up. His, his rights are going to be free for anybody. And as expected, he didn't sign in Vegas. The expectation was he would sign in Vegas, that the Vegas Golden Knights would have Shipachev, Gusev, and Dadnov, and that that could be their first line. Instead, on July 1st of 2017, he signed with Florida, which to me felt kind of anticlimactic and surprising, considering he'd been Florida property for, you know, two and a half seasons in North America, and then he got traded to Carolina. So it was surprising to me. Now, the hype around Dadnov was pretty high. But I had concerns. I thought, well, is it going to work at the NHL level? Because he's not going to be with Gusev and Shipachev. They're going to be in Vegas. Of course, Gusev wouldn't play a game for Vegas either. The most bewildering relationship seems to be, seems to be that between the Vegas Golden Knights and Russians right now. Um, because, yeah, Dadunov didn't choose to sign there. Shipachev lasted like a couple of games before he's out. And Gusev uh, had practice with them. Nice practice jersey. And then he goes to New Jersey. So 2017-2018, he's back. He's with Florida. 74 games, 28 goals, 37 assists, 65 points. Absolutely blasts what he did his first trip over to North America. And it shows that he is one of the few. Goes to the KHL, plays there for five years, comes back to the NHL, and is a bona fide top six forward. And, you know, with KHL, and, and it definitely as the year goes on, Depending on what happens with the National Hockey League, we can take a deeper dive into the KHL. Uh, there are players who play very well in the KHL that don't play well in North America, and vice versa. Players that are very good in North America, they go over the KHL and they're lost. So, uh, the next season, 2018-2019, 82 games, 28 goals, 42 assists, 70 points. What that does is it proves that the first year wasn't a fluke. It proves that he is just as good as was advertised. Eight power play goals that year. The power play goals I'm putting up because Ottawa didn't have a power play last year. It was a running joke whenever I did reviews of Ottawa games and Ottawa didn't score on the power play because it sucks. That was that was in every Ottawa game. Uh, Ottawa gets another power play, doesn't score because it sucks, and then they get a 5-on-3. What happens with the 5-on-3? That's right, they can't score on it because it sucks. So, Dadunov 
doubles down on that this past season. 69 games played. Keep in mind, it was shortened due to the pause. 25 goals, 22 assists, 47 points. May very well have, have eclipsed the 28-goal mark that is his career high. 47 points shows a drop in points per game, but 11 power play goals. Part of the reason Ottawa signs him, he is potentially going to help turn that power play around. The power play is going to have completely different players on it this year, comparatively speaking, with last season anyways. Uh, in his his playoff debut, uh, which was the play-in round against the New York Islanders, meaning officially Florida missed the playoffs, four games, one assist. I know that's a topic for debate. I'm just saying he didn't make the round of 16. So his career, 280 games, again, for a 31-year-old, that's not very many, but he had the five years in the KHL. 91 goals, 111 assists, 202 points. Without that experience in the KHL, I don't know that he would have become this player. I think the experience in the KHL helped him become this player. 42 penalty minutes in his career of 280 games is insane. So he has been given Lady Bang votes here and there in his years since his return. 150 hits in the National Hockey League, 113 block shots. The reason I have the hits up there is to show that, you know, a little more than one every two every two games. He is not scared to play a physical game as well. He can play two-way hockey. In fact, he got a couple of Selkie votes his first year back. And by a couple, I don't mean first place votes, just that he was on the ballot and people uh, had his name written down. But we'll see what happens with him in Ottawa because the question mark becomes one of, now that he's going to be playing with Ottawa, a team that has a more offensively challenged roster than what we saw with Florida, a team that um, could score, whereas Ottawa couldn't last year. How is it going to work? Is he going to be able to get to that 20 goal mark over an 82 game pause? 80, 82 game, I'm sorry, okay, so if it's prorated to 82 games, would he still score at the same rate? You guys know what I mean. Will he score a goal every four games? There, that's another way of putting it. Uh, and I, I don't really necessarily have the answer, but I think with the amount of uh, of money that, that Florida's um, not giving him that Ottawa will, I think he has a chance. I do like Dadunov. I also want to say for that team in 2016-2017 that he was on, that team also had Kovalchuk, Datsuk, Barabanov, who's coming over, uh, Voinov, who of course had been um, kind of tossed from the NHL, Shesterkin and Koskinen were their goaltenders, and Shesterkin had a save percentage in 2016-2017 of 937. So that was kind of sort of a super team. And they won 41 games in that season. So uh, Dadunov was a big part of that. But it was part of the reason why when Florida signed him, I thought, boy, we'll see whether or not he's he's going to have a better career this time than he did the first time around. And he did. So uh, it is it is another reason why when I look at the KHL, I wonder if there's another Dadunov out there. I wonder if there's another player in the KHL who plays very well, has the skill, maybe failed that first time through the NHL, and would exceed expectations if they returned so there's the question which guy currently in the khl could be another dad enough there's a question for you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through you just happen upon this video thank you guys so much for all your support i will talk to you again soon